live from this room. It's Saturday night. It's Saturday morning, actually. And also this isn't live, so that doesn't really work, does it? Today I thought I would teach you how to do something which is called making a cup of tea. Super difficult thing to do, so pay attention. If you live in the UK, then chances are you probably have a good idea how to do this already. So let's just compare, let's just compare how we do it. I don't know if you know this, but if you're not from England, if you're from, you know, elsewhere in the world, to even like be allowed into the country to get through the airport, you have to pass something called the tea test. The tea test. This happens at the airport and you have to make a very uh, quintessentially stereotypically British person a decent cup of tea to be allowed out into the country. Quintessentially British person, so we're talking probably a moustache, like if, if they were male, uh, possibly if they were female. Um, some sort of, what you call it, tweed, tweed, a tweed jacket, pipe, smoking pipe, why did I go like this? Pipe, not like, a pa you know what, a, a pipe not drugs. They probably have a cane as well, and maybe a flat cap, or one of those like funny hats. I think I'm thinking of Sherlock Holmes. Anyway, you have to make them a cup of tea. If they like it, then you might get some sort of moderate praise, like, mmm, yum. And then you're allowed into England. But if they don't like it, they'll say something like, this tea is absolute bollocks off with their head. They'll probably send you to the Tower of London to be hanged. It's shit when that happens, it's really shit. Also, it's not very good for tourism for the country, but that's just how we do it here. And you can't break with tradition, can you? If you are considering coming to England, then don't let this put you off. Honestly, it's a lovely country. You just might die. But if you pay attention to this video, you'll be absolutely fine. And then you'll have me to thank for practically saving your life. I mean, just, you know, throw a thanks my way, whatever. This is how you make a cup of tea. First things first, you will need a mug and a teaspoon. Now, here's where you have to make your first big tea decision. To teapot or not to teapot? That is the question. Now, I wasn't raised with a teapot. Funnily enough, I was actually raised with humans and we didn't use a teapot. So I'm just going to show you how to make one cup of tea. Next, you will need to pick your tea bag and place it into your mug. So now we need to fill the kettle. Pour your water into the kettle and wait for it to boil. Once that's done, carefully pour it into your mug, remembering to leave enough room to add the milk. And now we brew. Hand waving is optional, but I feel like it helps. It's completely up to you how long you leave your tea to brew, but I find approximately three minutes is a pretty good time. Now add your milk, however much you feel necessary. Now there is an age old debate going back centuries and centuries and centuries about whether you should add the milk first or second. Putting the milk in second is clearly the logical way to do it, but some people would disagree with this and they would put the milk in first. And to that I would say that some people just want to see the world burn. When you have successfully brewed, take your tea bag out. This would also be the point that you would add the sugar if that's what you like. Personally, I don't take sugar in tea because obviously I am sweet enough already. <laughs> uh. Anyway, now I would advise a little stir. I like three stirs to the right, one stir to the left, but that's completely up to you. And that's it, well done, you've made a cup of tea. How is that? Did that seem easy? Difficult? What do you think? Do you make tea? Do you want to come to England to pass the tea test? Do you drink tea already? Do you put the milk in first? Are we gonna have to not be friends anymore? There's so many questions about tea. Just talk to me about goddamn tea, okay? Thumbs up if you like tea. Thumbs up if you don't. I'm gonna stop saying tea now and I'm gonna say bye instead. Cause this could go on for a while. I don't know if you if you got this, but th this is I made that up. This isn't true. We we don't hang people much. <laughs>